Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to screen mirror without an internet connection using a Roku Streaming Stick Plus. One of the more popular videos on this channel is called How to Screen Mirror Without an Internet Connection to Your Roku TV. So if you do not have a Roku TV, you can do the exact same thing if you go out and purchase a Roku Streaming Stick Plus, and it's going to run you around $40. So let me show you how easy you can screen mirror without an internet connection. As you can see in the top right corner, it says not connected. We are not connected to a network, so no internet connection. We're going to click on HBO Plus, and you'll see not connected to the internet. Today we're going to be using the Samsung S20. We are going to swipe down from the top until we get to this screen here. Then we're going to swipe to the left. So we need to find Smart View. You'll see it here on the bottom left corner. We're going to click on Smart View. And you will see all the devices that we are able to screen mirror with or screen mirror to. We're going to click the Roku streaming stick. And right at the bottom, you will see start mirroring with smart view. And we are going to click start now. All right, pretty cool, right? And you can even turn it into landscape mode. We're going to press play. You can see that we are streaming a video. The video that's streaming right now is screen mirroring to a Samsung TV without Wi-Fi. But for this, you will need a Samsung phone and a Samsung TV for this to work. I'm going to click on another video. All right. So now we are going to disconnect. And you'll see on the top right corner that we are still not connected to any internet connection. All right. So very easy. You can find a streaming stick on Amazon, Walmart, and Best Buy. All right, so for my Apple users, if you have an iPhone or iPad and you want to screen mirror to your Roku TV, you can, but you have to have your phone and TV on the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to show you how to get to your Apple settings on this Roku stick. Starting from the home page, we are going to go down to settings. Once you are here, you're gonna go down to Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Yes, Roku has enabled you to use your Apple devices on Roku TVs now. Here you can see it says Apple AirPlay, it's on. So once your Roku TV and iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, all you have to do on your phone is swipe down from the bottom. You're going to find screen mirroring, should be right here. You're going to click on that. Then you will see Roku Streaming Stick. We're going to click on Roku Streaming Stick. It's going to give you a code. I'm gonna type the code into the phone. And as you can see, we have successfully screen mirrored our iPhone to the Roku Streaming Stick, but we are using an internet connection. Now I can already see it in the comments. Isaac, how can we screen mirror without an internet connection using Apple devices? Now, if you want a great connection uninterrupted, that's always going to work. You need to purchase one of these. It's going to be a lightning to HDMI adapter. You're going to plug it into your iPhone. You're going to plug an HDMI cable into there and then just plug it straight to your TV. That's the first method. And it's going to work 
You can find this lightning to HDMI adapter at any Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, Apple Store. You can find this everywhere. And if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work for you, you can always return it. Now in one of my previous videos, about a year ago, I showed you guys that you can screen mirror without an internet connection, but you have to have an Apple TV. So the first method is going to be the lightning to HDMI adapter. And the second method is going to be purchasing an Apple TV and using that Apple TV, you will be able to screen mirror without an internet connection. So your Apple TV doesn't have it, doesn't have to have an internet connection. Now this was a year ago and if anyone uh, tries it out now, let me know if it still works. So that is all I have for today. I wanna to take a second to thank everyone who has supported this channel by subscribing. We are almost at 6,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. Now, if this video has helped you out, all I ask is to give this video a thumbs up and to help support this channel by subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.